So I wanted to do a review of the Hermes Picatin. Um, because since I have the new one and I have one that's about a year old, I kind of wanted to show the difference in like the wear and tear just in that one year. So um, I have the two here. So this is the new one. This is the Hermes Picatin um, in the color Anemone. An an I don't know, it's spelled really weird. Um, with gold hardware. And then I have this one, which I got last year. And this is, I honestly can't remember the name of this color. I want to say it's peony, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but pink with silver hardware. So I store them both the same way. Of course, I just got this one like a week ago. Um, but this one I've been storing consistently with the little air papers inside. So I'm gonna set it and I just wanna kinda show you like the slouch even with the air paper. You can see like with the brand new one, the handles are still, there we go. You can see like the handles are still like standing up for the most part. Um, there's not like a little bit of a crease here, but it's pretty straight bag. Um, and then if you look at this one, the one that I've had for about a year, it's kind of starting to definitely slouch a little bit more. Um, the handles are kind of dropping in a little bit more um, you can kind of see that slouch here, and I think I saw somewhere um, that like some people store their Picatins upside down, which I've considered doing. I just haven't found anything that I think would be good to like put inside that wouldn't really like hurt the leather on the inside, like that's constantly resting on that that um, top part. So. I need to play around a little bit. Honestly, I, I kind of even thought about like getting one of those um, little head mannequins that you use for like wigs and putting putting that on top. I mean, I don't know. It might be kind of weird, but anyways, um, that was a, a thought. So now I want to show you once you take all the air papers out and you can kind of see like the stiffness versus the slouchiness without anything helping to support it. So we'll do the new one first. except for like a little key pouch inside. Um, you can kind of get an idea of just the inside is just kind of all purple. There's no pockets at all. That little gold speck on the inside is where it says it has Paris. Um, so no air paper or anything. You can see it stands really well. Um, absolutely nothing inside. A little bit of the crease is here, but the handles are up. It looks great. Um, and then if we take the air paper out of the one that's about a year old, I'll show you. So I did, um, I used to buy bags from Fashion Plan a lot, like buy and sell. Um, so I don't have that ticket anymore, but I have the one that was um, the Picatin without the lock. So that one was, I don't even know how many years old, eight maybe. Um, and it was pretty slouchy, but um, I would say probably not too much more than this one. So this one, um, I tried to make my own Picatin like bag insert, but I made it too big and I'm not a seamstress by any means. So um, it kind of folded up and bunched at the bottom of the bag. So we'll just kind of put that to the side for now. Uh, and then I have some of these little well, actually, my mother-in-law got me these. They're like the little pouches that you, like the dry silica do not eat pouches that you would find like in the bottom of a shoe when you get new shoes. Um, so I keep these in my bags to um, just kind of keep the moisture out so there's no mold or anything since we live in Florida. So there's a couple of those in there, but otherwise it's just the key pouch. Can see inside again no pockets all leather um, so when you compare them side to side like this one just kind of automatically like 
the handles don't stay up. It's definitely, well, I guess maybe a little bit, but it's definitely more slouchy, which I don't mind. Um, I actually am not the biggest fan of super structured bags, which is why um, I never really was drawn to like the Chanel plastic flap. I do have something that's kind of similar to that. Uh, maybe a couple bags that are, that are similar to that, but it's definitely not my go-to. I'm definitely more of like a slouchy bag type of person. So I'm not mad at this one and I won't be mad at this one when it gets a little bit slouchy. I think it just looks nice kind of like flopping down on the table like that. So um, I'll kind of give you a closer look. Um, so with the Picatin, so these are both a size 22. Um, I think they, they do an 18, which is smaller. And then I want to say the size up is like a 26 or a 28. I can't remember, but it's a little too big for me. So with the Picatin 22, um, you have the bottom, which is just like a square and it's multiple pieces of leather, pretty sturdy feet which is awesome. Um, and then I'm really not sure which is like the front or the back of the bag. I'm assuming this is maybe the front of the bag. Um, so I keep it locked at all times. Um, so you can see there's like a strap of leather here and then there's this strip um, that goes through these two little um, pieces of hardware and then the lock kind of stops the strip from falling out. So keep it like that. And then you have the side and then I guess the quote unquote back has this piece of hardware which starts the strap. And then um, I kind of try to show you a little bit closer with the leather. Um, it's very like grainy leather. This is Clemence leather, which is my favorite, very slouchy leather. And then you can kind of see like they have the sides. Um, but then on the inside, it's that very raw leather. So, um, but yeah, here's the inside of the bag. It fits a pretty decent amount. Definitely all the essentials that I need. Um, I don't ever take these bags to work. Um, so anything that I would need on the weekend, it fits perfectly, but obviously not enough for like a weekend type bag. So um, just, you know, kind of a, a close show of the pink one and then with the purple one. Um, I just did an unboxing on this one not too long ago, um, but I was in a little bit of a rush with that video, so I'll kind of show you a little bit better. Um, so again, this one is uh, an enemy with gold hardware, so that means like the lock and all the little pieces that they have here are all gold. So an up close of the leather, again this is Clemence leather, so same big pebbled um, Leather, very slouchy, the side. And then we have the raw leather on the inside. This is an awesome bag, so pretty. And again, okay, and you have the feet. So that big sturdy piece of square leather on the bottom. Also like the rounded leather. Um, here to kind of frame it. So yeah, that is the Hermes Picatin 22. Um, I have no plans on adding an 18 or the larger size, whatever it may be, to my collection. I don't know that I plan on getting any more of these. Uh, I think two is quite enough. Uh, this was kind of like my dream color combination and when I got this one, um, I'm pretty sure this was actually my first purchase from Hermes in the store and I was so excited just to get a leather bag from Hermes that I didn't really care what color it was but I did ask for pink and he provided um, so I was super super happy. So um, yeah. Um, in general, to rate them, you know, there's obviously no straps. So uh, if you're, you know, a strap person, you can't really hand, like, I mean, it's pretty much crooked the arm. You can't really carry, I mean, I guess you could carry it shoulder, but it's, it's 
square at the bottom, so you can't like squish it down. I feel like you'd either damage the bag by squishing it down all the time, um, or have to have your arm up here. Like it, it's just weird. It's kind of awkward. I don't maybe like that. I guess, but I don't. I've never carried it that way. Always crook of the arm or hand carry, um, and I don't mind that at all. Um, so I think it's an awesome bag. Uh, I guess. The downfall is that um, it's open, so maybe like if you're in a really uh, urban type of setting, someone can kind of you know reach in and grab stuff. So that's why I made this. Um, what I do, it's not the best. I kind of need to remake another one, but um, I put this at the bottom. And then again, it doesn't look great, but. I put it at the bottom and then I'll put just like all the kind of like stuff I'm carrying like lip gloss or um, like my day planner or uh, you know just random things up here and anything that's important I'll actually tuck underneath here um, like underneath this little quote unquote organizer um, so that way it's not like an easy reach because I know it's buried at the bottom of my bag, my wallet, my phone, my keys, those important things are at the bottom. So that's kind of how I manage it. Um, on Amazon, I think they do sell some organizers that, um, will fit perfectly inside the Picatin and then they have a zip. So you have that zip compartment, um, which is a great idea. I'm obviously not a good seamstress, so I can probably not sew that, but, um, I just don't really feel like investing in that one. I, this is kind of a good system for me for now. Um, but yeah, awesome bag, um, very pretty, uh, very lucky to have been able to get both of these. Um, I would definitely recommend them. I think the 18, um, at least for me, would be way too small. So um, I carry a pretty decent amount. Like for example, I have like pouches, like a, a, this big pouch that I carry around with me that's got random stuff in it. Um, I hardly ever go in there except to get my headphones or maybe some medication. But, um, you know, it, it takes up a good amount. So, yeah, I would 100% recommend getting the Picatin if you don't mind a crook of the arm or hand carry bag. Um, but if you're someone who kind of needs that strap, there is, um, so I have seen some people, and I've done it like once, where they'll use um, this piece of hardware, this piece of hardware that starts the strap. And then these two pieces of hardware where the strap goes through, they'll attach straps here. And then that way that kind of goes up and over and you can hold, like you have it as a strap. But again, the bag is square, it sticks out. So it's just like kind of protruding. I feel like it would run into things. Um, I'm too worried about damaging the leather that is holding on to these little pieces of hardware. So I'm just not gonna like put my bags at risk like that. I don't mind carrying them, but it is an option. Um, Hermes has some awesome straps, or I'm sure you could, you know, like find, I don't know, your favorite strap or a different strap, but yeah. So I guess in that way it makes it a little bit more versatile, but I don't do that. So um, yeah, again, awesome bag, definitely recommend. Um, please stay tuned. I have uh, quite a few more bag uh, review or reveal videos that uh, are planned and um, I would love it if you would subscribe um, so you can kind of stay tuned for more of those to come. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day or night or um, afternoon. Thanks.